So in this uh, video, we are going to cover the topic EP5. So before going to EP5, first of all, you need to know why you need EP5. Because see, insertion of the heap, we have discussed. That is insertion in heap. Uh, or it can be called as creation of the heap. So we wrote the code for this. So initially we had some array, right? There was one array. Then you converted into a resultant array. Actually, this is the resultant array. So this is what you got as the result. So in order to do this, let us see what was the type complexity. So insertion will take how much time? Obviously, in in heap it will take big O of log n times. Big O of log n times. Now, actually, for inserting one element, you are calling like you already. This is was the initial uh, array that I uh, that I had, right? This was actually the initial array. Then finally, you we got we got this array. So here you are calling how many times? You are calling. Let us take it as n times. You are calling. So this log n times will be running n times. So totally the time complexity of the code will becomes log n times, n log n times. So which is not that much good, right? If it if it had took n time or if it had took log n time that was better right so let us in order to make it as make it as n right big of n time we are going to use heap if so heap if i will take big of n time complexity which is better than the insertion what we have done earlier so it is somewhat simple go to the end of the array so you traverse through the array doing some computation that's it what is that computation First of all, you stand at 50. Check its left and right side. So take the maximum of this left and right side. And if it is greater than the this node that you are uh, your control is in, then you need to swap. The same thing, the same thing what we had done for deletion. <coughs> so same thing I will do. Here actually it is a leaf node. So you if you compare, you will get null. So obviously, 15 will be greater than null. So we don't need uh, to do any computation here. So after 15, you will reach 40, then 40, then 35. Like you are traversing uh, the array from backwards, right? So you are going here like this. Then here you are going to compare. Yeah, now you have left and right side. So in among 15 and 40, what is which is the greatest? Here 40 is the greatest. So swap this 40 and 30. Let's swap this 30 and 40. What you are going to get is, let me again do it. So I will swap the elements. It is 40 and here 30 it should be. So 40 and this should be 30. Now, now you go to 10. Again compare these two. 35 is the greatest. So swap 35, again compare 10 and 35, 10 is less than 35, so swap it. So you would get here 10, here 35. So here 35 and here 10. Again go to 5, again compare these two, 40 is greatest, 5 is less than 40, you can swap. So you will get the same result. So what you have done is, like uh, here you will get 45, it is 40. And what you have done is simply traversing through the array from backwards. That is what you did. So that is giving you the result. So swapping may take some time. So not every time you will swap, right? The, here you don't actually swap. So there are many conditions that you will not swap. So it is not actually log big of n, but you can consider approximately it is big of n, which is Definitely less than big O of n log n. So this is the reason we use heapify. Now let us move to the next topic. That is, I'll compare. I will complete this uh, topic, which is a uh, which is not that much big. So let me complete in this video itself. So heap as priority queue. So heap as priority queue. It is so much simpler. We have discussed it earlier itself. 
so priority queue here it depends it depends on what which now uh, element that you are giving more priority like you can give larger element bigger the element more you can give the priority more will be priority or if the element is smaller then that can be your maximum priority so let us do for larger element so you are given with, uh, given with some uh, key values that is 4, 9, 5, 10, 6, 20, 8 and 15, 2, 8, 18. Now you add 4, uh, again you will add 4 here. Then again you are going to insert 9 right. So you insert 9. So insert 9. So compare this 9 with its parent. Since 4 is less than 9, you swap because you are giving more priority to what? Bigger element. So you will do this. Then again 5 you need to add. You will add 5 here, right? 5. Compare this to 9 is actually greater than 5. So no need to do anything. Now 10. Again add 10 here. Now compare this 10 and 4. You need to swap, right? 4 is the center. So swap it. So here you get 4. Here you get 10. Again, further you need to continue. Again, compare this and this. 10 is what? Actually greater than 9. So again, swap. So until you reach the root node, right? You need to do that. So I think here you get 10 and here you get 9. So you go on doing it again. again. Now 6 I will add. Right? Then you can go on doing this. And finally you will get, again, max seed you will uh, generate. And let me give the result directly, so you should get this one. So you can take it as a challenge and you can do. So you need to get the final tree like this. Max heap, max heap tree as like this. More specifically, max heap binary tree like this. So you should get this result. So time complexity is what? Time complexity uh, to insert is login, right? Login. So this is what about priority queue. More priority here. I gave more priority to larger element. You can give a smaller element. And another important thing, let uh, let me tell you that uh, the insertion, right? Deletion happened how? And insertion happened how? Like we insert see the insertion is done from leaf node to root node right here we have inserted some elements so how you are inserting you are inserting and like that is how you did now deletion how you did you deleted from root node to uh, leaf node right first of all you took the root node you deleted you always delete the root node that is what condition i said so first you will delete the root node and insertion you always add this element like if you want to insert like say uh, 28 so you will insert down here then you will perform anything if you need to do that we already discussed so insertion will happen from leaf node to root node and deletion takes place from root node to leaf node so this is also one of the important thing to remember in heap so this is the last video about heap binary heap I think you can look at the uh, playlist, three playlist, and you can find most of the concept. I think so. Yeah, and in uh, we know that tree is so much important uh, topic. So I think you need to cover all the topics of tree. So thank you.